And I can ask from ChatGPT to write me an investment plan from a position of a bead farmer as Dwight Schrute. Hey everyone, my name is Vinalin, and in today's video, I'm going to show you the template that I follow in order to create great ChatGPT prompts. The template itself contains five easy steps that you can follow in order to create your own prompts. Let's get started. If you want to follow along, there is a completely free text tutorial on mlexpert.io. And if we go to the web page and then on the machine learning section, prompt engineering, there is the complete guide that you can follow. The template that I'm going to show you takes advantage of the way that ChatGPT was trained. I recall that initially the model was trained on some very, very large amount of text from all over the internet. And then there were multiple people that were chatting or talking with the model and then scoring the results of the responses. So we are going to take advantage of that. We are going to have an identity for ChatGPT and then ask for some very specific um, objectives and provide context and background information in order to get very good responses. So let's get started with a very simple prompt and we would require from ChatGPT to write us an investment plan. When we ask with a very simple prompt, the result is going to be very generic. And as you can see, that's what we are getting here. How can we improve on that? The first thing that I like to do is to start from a clean state. And in order to do that, I'm going to prompt ChatGPT to ignore all previous instructions. And to do that, I'm just going to specify the ignore all previous instruction text. And the response is pretty much the same, but we are sure that everything is starting from a clean state. The next step of the template is to establish an identity for ChatGPT. This is done in order to mimic the way that you're asking for advice from a expert in some subject matter. So for example, if you have car problems, let's say your car is leaking oil or, or coolant or something like that, then you probably go to a car mechanic and ask him or her for a fix or uh, just give him or her the car. Uh, another example might be that you have some uh, sickness or something else that is uh, concerning your personal health, then you'll go probably to a doctor, hopefully and uh, ask him or her for advice as well. So we are going to do exactly the same thing uh, and we are going to do that for the investment plan that we are going to create using ChatGPT. And the identity that I'm going to give to ChatGPT is going to be of a personal finance advisor with very uh, many years of experience. And as you can see, already the output is uh, very different compared to the basic prompt. The responses that we get thus far are still very generic, mostly because we haven't added any constraints or objectives that are more specific in order for ChatGPT to give us a better investment plan. So now I'm going to ask for an advice of how to invest $10,000 with a goal of maximum profit in the next year. And you can see that we are given now some specific strategies in how to invest. Okay, so we are now getting somewhere. The responses are getting more specific and more concrete based on the prompts that we've already created. And now I'm going to give ChatGPT a bit more context and constrain it even further. So in order to do that, I'm going to give some background information about the person who wants to do the investment. And I would require for some specific investment and allocation percentages. And to do that, I'm going to specify that I'm 35 years old software developer that lives in Los Angeles and makes about 120K per year. The last step of the template is to specify the language and the tone that you want ChatGPT to create the text or the responses in. So this is important when you're trying to present the text uh, to someone else. So for example, if you're writing a blog post or a tweet or something like that, you might want 
to create a different tone and different language. So you can use that in order to get better responses. So here I would like the text to be easy to understand, friendly and personal. And you can see that the response is much more friendly. It starts with hello there. So the final result is much more friendly and much more specific. And let's review the chat together. So we started with something that is very basic and uh, very generic. And as you can see, the responses that you got from uh, ChatGPT at first were really basic. And then we started by ignoring all previous instructions. This didn't change much the responses. Then we give an identity to ChatGPT. And then it started talking more like a personal finance advisor. The response, however, hasn't changed that much. But then once we started with being more specific and defining some more specific objectives, uh, you can see that we started to receive advice like start opening a brokerage account. Then we got pretty much the same result after that. But then we got something like high yield saving account, so which was again more specific. And then we added a bit of more context. And then the results were much better. Uh, it advised, it did an advice on building an emergency fund, then retirement accounts, diversified portfolio. Then it's it talked about uh, individual stocks like Apple, Microsoft, or Amazon, index funds, real estate, etc. So the results got much more specific. And finally, we specified the tone uh, or the language that we want to, um, to use, easy to understand, friendly, and personal. So uh, it first congratulated us on being a software developer in LA, uh, which is a nice touch. And then pretty much did the same thing uh, but again it uh, did investing 50 percent stocks and bonds so it gave us uh, much more specific allocations of everything from our portfolio or our investment of ten thousand dollars and this is pretty much the final result which is uh, much better compared to the basic prompt that we had so finally, this is the template that I use most of the time when I want to create a ChatGPT prompt. So this is what we actually did throughout this video. So I'm starting with ignore all previous instructions, then provide an identity, add context and constraints. So for example, we talked about what the person is and how much he makes. Then the concrete objectives, which is very important. You want something very specific. And then I would consider this optional, but very important as well. You can use write in and type something like easy to understand or easy to follow, step-by-step -step process, etc. And this is pretty much the template that you can use in order to create great chat GPT prompts. One really cool trick that I like to use is to change the personality and try out the outputs of the prompts. I'm going to show you what I mean. And I can ask from ChatGPT to write me an investment plan from a position of a beet farmer as Dwight Schrute. And of course, you can ask ChatGPT to write a tweet, not just a long text from the investment plan. And this is a very simple change. I'm going to change the plan to tweet. In this video, I've shown you a very easy to follow template, which you can use to create great ChatGPT prompts for yourself. Uh, remember that there is also a complete text tutorial of this video, which is linked down into the description and it's on mlexpert.io, completely free. So we've seen pretty much how you can give an identity to ChatGPT, then specify some objectives, give it constraints, and then specify format for the responses. And we've seen that pretty much every input of the prompt is giving us much better and much better results.
This will uh, depend, of course, on many details, but uh, it looks like that it is giving us very good results thus far. And the template uh, is available also on ML Expert. Please like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any questions about prompts, uh, and I would like maybe to help you with some prompts or maybe other great ideas how we can improve this template, please leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.